Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today we've got another episode of What's Poppin'. And What's Poppin' was down at, I believe this is what, at Walmart where I got this. Um, and uh, a few reviews back when I was doing some, I was doing something and I don't, I don't remember, some kind of new soda that was out there. And I was talking about the generic sodas that they have at the different stores with the, you know, clever names. And uh, they have, you know, clever names to kind of mimic the other ones out there, like White Lightning and uh, I forget some of the other ones. They came up with all real clever, clever names for them to kind of get them, get you to think it's a, a you know, more popular brand and it's, basically the generic knockoff for that particular store and this was one of them that I ran across and these are the small cans they're the half size or only eight ounces and I thought I'd try this just to get a you know kind of a giggle and they also have them in two liter bottles and I think they have them in full size can but I got a six pack of these little half half cans and this is called Dr. Thunder there you go so bring the thunder Dr. Thunder, I think it's supposed to be like Dr. Pepper. And I don't really know, but it was a little bit cheaper. I think for the six pack of the little small ones, it was like $1.50 or something. And normally a six pack is like about $2 or $2.99 for the full size cans. Or you can get them in the bottles or get them in two liter bottle or 12 packs or whatever. But these were a little bit different. So I thought, what the heck, I'm going to try it for you guys out there just because it's a funny name. And I'm going to see how close this is to uh, the actual name brand. And I'm assuming it's supposed to be Dr. Pepper. And I have a frosted mug here that I put a little bit of ice in. It's been sitting in there getting nice and chilled. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. And just for this one, it's 100 calories for this 8 ounce uh container so that's not too bad but anyway this isn't diet they may have had diet dr thunder i don't know maybe it's only half thunder i don't know <laughs> anyway for those of you that are asmr fans here we go i'm gonna pop this up and i'm gonna pour it in there and see how it goes so here we go all right here we go Nice and fizzy. And got my glass. Here we go. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to fill it up the whole way just because that's a small smaller container and it only filled it up a little ways so I'm gonna give this a try and it does smell a lot like Dr. Pepper but not as prevalent so let's see if this Dr. Thunder brings the thunder or not so here we go folks give it a try for you guys Cheers. Hmm. Okay. I can taste that kind of cherry flavor like the Dr. Pepper. It's not as strong. It is a little bit less carbonated than the Dr. Pepper. But I can still kind of taste that you know, cherry flavor or whatever it is. Don't know if they even have that on here. Fructose corn syrup, caramel color, natural, caffeine. 
doesn't give a flavor in here. It's probably like a protected secret of the blend, but it is sort of that cherry taste. But it's not as strong as regular Dr. Pepper. It's not as sweet. It's not as fizzy. But it's, it's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. I do get that kind of Dr. Pepper aftertaste, but it's not as strong, it's not as harsh as the Dr. Pepper taste, but it is pretty good and it is um, a good alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money, but if you can catch the Dr. Pepper on sale, sometimes that's a good deal. But I'll go ahead and give you guys a rating on the Dr. Thunder. <laughs> so for Dr. Thunder, uh, he didn't really bring the thunder, so I'll give that one uh, 6 out of 11. I'm not real wild about Dr. Pepper to begin with, so this was kind of a lesser... A lesser drink version of it the original one has a lot more flavor a lot more carbonation a lot more fizz and bubbliness but again you get what you pay for and this is you know it's a good attempt but again I wouldn't rank it real high up there but if you want to try it or you're on a budget and <laughs> just want to get the generic stuff or you know you want to give it to your kids and they don't really know they're not <clears throat> soda aficionados or they don't care what it really tastes like and you know they're going to be bouncing off the walls as as it is with drinking soda with the sugar in it so go ahead and give it a try if you like it again i think i would spend a little bit extra money and get the regular the regular one but that's just me and i don't i don't get it all that often anyway so I just thought it would be interesting to try. So, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over there. And until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be trying some other soda or snack or some kind of new thing that's out there, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open and check it out for you guys out there. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and have a nice, refreshing, cool drink. So until next time, talk to you later.